start this evening with the Central Coast High School resuming classes three days after a student was stabbed to death on campus. It all went down Tuesday at Aptos High School. Today, the classmates accused of killing that student were in court. Meantime, we get more on today's developments from Action News 8 reporter Felix Cortez, live in Santa Cruz. Well, Dan, those two students were arraigned in juvenile hall this afternoon on charges. They murdered their classmate on campus. Students taking time to reflect on that tragedy and their own personal feelings. Back to school for Aptos High three days after a student was stabbed to death on campus on Friday. The focus not so much on studies, but more on helping students and staff deal with the tragedy and mixed emotions. My tutorial teacher was talking about how she, she actually went to a counseling at the school and it helped her a lot just dealing with it. And I don't know of anyone personally who's used it, but yeah, they talked about how we can just get a slip and then go to counseling if we need it. Students put up a memorial for their classmate who was killed allegedly by a freshman and senior, many wearing black to mourn the loss. Most people were kind of keeping to themselves sort of and nothing, I don't know, it just wasn't the happiest kind of day because every, everyone was definitely somber and yeah, you could you can feel it. It was pretty sorrow and it was kind of sad for a lot of people and there was a memorial bit up there and everyone was around and it was really sad. Campus security was also tight. There's cops all around. I saw one, I saw, I've seen four today. One was just down here a second ago and they're just all over making sure we're okay and I'm thankful for it. As students were winding down the day, the accused killers were being arraigned on murder charges. Sheriff Jim Hart said they have gang ties. Many wondering whether the tragedy could have been prevented. One of the accused was recently involved in an on-campus fight and may have been on probation, but the district did away with SROs last year. And we would have uh, probably taken some real steps through the probation department in juvenile hall with that individual early on and, and had him removed from the campus. Now, as for those two students charged with murder, one of them, the 17 year old, is old enough to be tried as an adult. But at this point, prosecutors not telling us whether or not they plan to petition the court to have that minor tried as an adult. Dan. Thank you, Felix.